Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Friday, everybody. On the 26th of October, only a couple more days until Halloween. I don't know if anybody knew that, but <laughs> I think I'd just throw it in there. Happy Friday to you, Donna, Amy. Good to see you. Ken, good to see you. Good morning. All Cyber Traders. Well, guess what? Today, you know, I rarely would ever say this, but I don't think it's going to be a good day to trade trade. I mean, I, I, I think this is the first time I ever made an announcement where I said for the pre-market the pre that there's really nothing there other than to short. Um, that's basically what looks like it's going on out there. There's a couple of good stocks that are making some moves, but I mean, I, I was just talking... Um, I was just strategizing a little bit uh, with Josh. I know you guys uh, finished up phase two yesterday. And if you notice, one of the big things I was, I was talking about was regarding about Amazon. And let me just bring that up, AMZN. Now, Amazon is going, to be a, is going to be a leader today regarding about where the market is going. Now, we had a huge rally yesterday in the market. Now, if I just change my time frame a little bit more, you could see that Amazon had a rocket of a day the stock literally went up about 100 points and it just basically tanked what is it down uh it was almost down almost 100 180 points so talking about a reversal so now what's going to happen is amazon is trying to make a little bit of a comeback uh you know and i and i talked about this yesterday regarding about i had so many family members of mine that you want to know what's going on with Amazon. Some of them owned them owned it at like, I don't know, like $900. But you guys got to realize whatever goes up comes down twice as fast, like every other stock that we're seeing. So we've been having a really great market. We're getting these rebounds, and then we're getting these corrections that are going on. So the way I would trade today is let's keep an eye on regarding about what Amazon is doing. Looks like it is been making a comeback. Already bounced about 60 points in pre-market already. You are getting you could see it's probably going to be testing some resistance levels right from yesterday, right around that around 1700. Now, you know we're not going to trade Amazon, okay? Nobody's and I, and I know you're not going to be trading the options on it. But the thing is, there are a lot of other stocks that are following with it. There's a lot of ETFs, there's a lot of other other stocks that are moving. But um, this is going to look like it's going to be a very volatile blue chip market type of day, all brand name stocks. So that's basically what's going to go on. A lot of earnings came out. Some of them were good. A lot of them, I told you, a lot of people were concerned because they didn't factor in such a big rate height uh, in, in the Fed. So they've been, they've been having fun with all this free money and all these free lunches. Now they realize they have to pay for it, but didn't realize they have to factor in, you know, the money they're borrowing. So you could see it kind of could really could affect the market a little bit. And also a lot of people also, like I told you, this is just my throw my two cents out there is that everyone's just still concerned about the mid midterm elections. Uh, but realistically, I just think it's October. We always have October crashes, and traders want to want to get a nice Christmas bonus this year, and that's really what it comes down to. Now, for today's class, you may, um, I know Josh is going to be talking a little bit about Twitter. Uh, we're going to put it on the watch list regarding about earnings, what happened with that Twitter trade. Let me bring up the TWTR trade right here. So there's going to probably be a lot of action in that uh, Twitter, and he's going to talk a little bit about the big prints and time and sales uh, based on entries. You know, very, very important today's class, guys, when you're in class. I mean, to, at, at, time in sales is a very, very critical tool when it comes to knowing and having a game plan in the market. Um, now, I, I know we have phase two recordings up there, so go back and review it. Remember, you, you got to learn before you can earn. Okay, you want to make money, you got to be in class, you got to review those recordings, you got to do your, your, your journals. You hear me talking about it, that there's so many stocks that we've traded, you're going to trade them in the future, eventually they're going to come out with an earnings announcement or a new drug, whatever it is. You got to know how they trade, but you got to be in class and you got to listen and pay attention. Remember, the stock market is not going out of business, okay? You and I die one day, and we're always going to pay taxes. There's, there's always three promises I make everyone. Those are two of them, and the third one, stock market's not going out of business. So don't worry about it. Take the time, learn how to play the game, and do it right the first time. All right, now there are a couple of stocks I do want to watch this morning. Obviously, we've got the Amazon on the list. And, and also, my, uh, my UVXY trade is doing pretty well, guys. I told you that. I said, I told you this all the way back in October. I said, in the beginning of October, I said, listen, if there's anything that will protect you on a crash, you don't have to spend a lot of money on it. But uh, when they did that reverse stock split, you could have bought the stock around like seven, about $10. 
you know, and they said, you know, and obviously this is factored in the reverse stock split. It's really not a sixty dollars stock. They did a what it did. They did a four for one reverse stock split on it. But um, just you know, this was an insurance policy. So if you guys bought, I say even if you bought a couple of hundred shares of it as an insurance policy to cover some of your longs that you might get hurt. Hopefully you guys listen. You did well. If you don't believe me, go back to the recordings. Go back to go back to YouTube. Go back and look at those days when I talked about the reverse stock split. On, uh, on the UVXY, and you'll see what I'm talking about. And that's the beauty about you being here at Cybertrain University and listening in, in these events. You know, you, you learn from experience, something that everyone will die for, that you can't buy experience. So I'm always happy to pass it over to you. TVIX, another one that is one of the ETFs. You can keep an eye on it. Another one that's following along with the UVXY trade. So all those are going to make the watch list. There's a couple other U U uh, ETFs that are moving too. UVXY. You got that one. Yeah, UVXY. We got all these. Oh, any ETF. Okay, you can go down the list. All right, a couple other stocks I do want to keep an eye on also. Some other stocks that probably not going to affect the market uh, other than just trading on their own. Keep an eye on this FEX, uh, the FLEX. This probably was... I don't know if it was on your short list, but this was probably the only one that I liked in pre-market that I saw that was taking a nice little uh, downtrend. You should have probably got this short. Mm, if you look over here, let me just change the time frame. You should have got it in around like the 860s, I would say. You know, right here, 860s, around 830 if you got in. So that was probably the only one that's working out pretty well. Spread's okay. Volume is pretty decent. And then... Uh, I, I don't think we could short this one, but pharmaceutical stock took a huge hit yesterday. When it rains, it pours. Look at this thing, huh? It's at 46 cents. It was out of $1.40. Ugh, terrible. My condolences. <laughs> like I always have to say. E-L-L-I also. Keep an eye on that too. That one also. Another nice little short. You know, that one you probably do pretty well too. Um, but the only thing, big, big spread. So everything, there's a lot of big shorts. There's some longs on some ETFs, but more shorts than what I think. Just use that Amazon trade as your indicator. You know, back in the old days when I used to, you know, when I used to trade, you know, one of our biggest indicators was not a MACD or a Fibonacci. It was Intel. And and what we did was we used to take a, we used to overlap the Intel stock because that was one of the biggest movers, you know, biggest uh, indicators in the market, and we just watch. If that stock goes up, everything else went up. That goes down, that goes down. So a little strategy there you guys can apply to, to towards today. Another thing, uh, President Trump signed a very big uh, bill yesterday. I don't know if you guys heard about it, but he's going after the pharmaceutical uh, companies where now that they can't uh, charge us more than anyone else in, this, in the world. So I think uh, and pharmaceutical companies are like a little upset about it because you know, this is where they make their money. They, they figure we're a rich country, so they figure they can, you know, charge us more. So they're a little upset about it, and I think what's going to happen is a lot of these pharmaceutical stocks are probably going to take a little bit of a hit too. So be very cautious on what's going to happen with the uh, with the pharmaceuticals. Oh, no, he put me out of business. <laughs> Ken, you were out of business, what, like four or five years ago now? You were just smarter than everyone else and got help as a pharmacist before anyone else did. So, but anyway, uh, three years ago. Well, you saw the writing on the wall. But anyway, uh, I think it's probably going to make things, you know, it's going to hurt the pharmaceutical companies a lot uh, regarding about uh, how they're actually selling their drugs here in the United States. So, uh, you know, we're going to keep it. Let's keep an eye on the pharmaceutical stocks, too. So we, we know how to trade pharmaceutical stocks. We've been watching them forever. We noticed that when, 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 they, when they get crushed, they never come back because, you know, that's what the drug's all about. You know, that's where their bread and butter is. And I always kind of, Tell everybody, if you want to learn something very valuable, I know if we have any movie buffs out there, you know, um, two, one, another great movie I always told you is watch The Big Short. And I always tell you, because you're in the industry, you want to learn about trading, you watch The Big Short and you got to watch it two, three times and you'll know exactly what you could appreciate and how catastrophes make opportunities for us traders while we're here. But another movie I always want to tell you to watch is watch the first movie of Planet of the Apes, Okay. Is there, did anyone watch that movie before? Not, not not the old one, like, but the first new version of Planet Apes, the one that first came out. Okay, it was a great movie. Well, listen, the greatest thing about that movie is like if you know how 
um, the the monkey Caesar became Caesar. It was about a drug that the doctor was trying to make for his dad to 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 cure Alzheimer's. Well, if you want to see how much money and what some of these um, pharma pharmaceutical um, uh, laboratories look like, you got to watch that. It, just to see it, how much of billions, when they say they invest billions, you, you got to see what they have there. I mean, it's like Fort Knox. It's like literally, it's worse than Fort Knox. It's like basically, you know, it's like the control center of like NASA. Um, it's just unbelievable. So when you want to know like, well, how could that really kill the company and so on? You watch that movie and you watch how much money is it that they, they invest um, in these pharmaceutical companies, which by the way, I think they filmed it in one of the big pharmaceutical companies uh, of their laboratories. You'll see what I mean. So, so pharmaceutical stocks, listen, they're a lot of fun. You know, people make a lot of money on it, but, and there's a lot of them out there that are public, but also we all know that they get, when they get crushed, they don't come back. So like you see what's happening with this one right here, the S G Y P and people are always asking, is it really that bad? I, I don't know. Look, it's destroyed. You know, down 67%. And believe me, there's a lot of them out there. And I can go down the list. I don't even remember. Was it VRX? Remember VRX? I, they, we were so embarrassed they changed the symbol name. But what was that? A $270 stock? Would it go down to 10 bucks? You know? I mean, how does a $270 stock go down to $10? What's the new symbol on VRX? I keep forgetting because we don't, we don't watch it anymore. Everybody remember the, the symbol on VRX? What was the symbol on that one? I don't even remember what it was again, but we'll find out. Look, you no one even remembers. <laughs> that just shows you. Barb says, "Oh, is it B uh, it's it's uh the BHC?" Oh, it came back a little bit. Oh, okay. It did come back a little bit. Does it factor in all the uh Oh, yeah, there it is right there. You can see it. $260 stock back in 2015. Look where it goes. Uh That's what happens. Anyway, Guys, today is Friday. A lot of you here from on site last week. We all know we all learn how to trade on a Friday. And then uh, that's the biggest thing we got to be focused on. Be careful of Fridays. And uh, but Friday morning was pretty good last week. Uh, Friday afternoon wasn't the greatest. But regarding with all the news that's coming out, just let's be very careful. Remember, cash is king. And always keep that in mind. All right. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And don't forget, class phase two is going to be starting today and then i will be doing phase three next week so i look forward to seeing you there and then uh once again and just enjoy your weekend and uh enjoy your happy halloween weekend parties if you guys are doing anything because i know i'll be out there with my kids all day good luck everyone happy trading see you at 2 30 for the afternoon meeting